see. Okay, I just noticed this. Um, looks like they're ready to explode. I didn't even see these. I was just looking at these. Looks like these things, they're ready to come off. These are, you can see, and over there, I don't know if you can see, those things are ready to go nuts. Wow, I guess it was that 80 degree day that just came out. These are, no, these are real roses. Yeah, and they have beautiful smells. Wow, they smell awesome. Here, smell that. Yeah. Because they have, I thought these are those wild roses because of, uh, you know, stuff. But yeah, you can see they have the thorns though. See, you can see the little thornies. And, uh, I don't know, people always cut these things down, like really soon, you know. They don't let them grow very much long or tall. I was always wondering why. They're so beautiful. And why would you cut these damn things down? Let them grow like, you know, what do they call those trees that live for? I was just watching those Channel 5 shows early in the morning. Look at all that. Let me see. Yeah, this one. I didn't What the hell? I didn't know these things bloomed like that. I don't think I've ever seen them bloom like this crazy. You got that many, um, I've never seen them get that many in one, like, bush like that. I don't know, maybe it's because, see how they're, and let me see this, yeah, they have thorns. So they have the wild roses that don't, they don't have a smell. <clears throat> but this one, oh, look at the color of that one. And then, look how dark this one is, and the light, that one's like a pink. And these are like, those blood red, um, like, vampire roses. They're so beautiful, I didn't even notice these things, but they're gonna explode. I keep trying to make sure I don't cut them down, but try and get rid of the, the wild roses. They're not nearly as beautiful, and they don't, they don't, um, they don't have that beautiful smell. But look at all those things, they're about to explode on one stem like that, that's crazy. I've never seen this like this before, and they're definitely not wild because they have the, they have the, um, it is just, it's crazy how all of these going to explode. They look like, because yeah, I, I think the wild roses do that, they grow like that. Although, I don't know, maybe it's nuclear season. Like, you know, that song by, what's that girl's name? Charlie XCX. And, uh, what the hell is that, a damn fly or something? I don't know if they, let me see, are there any bees? That's the only thing I hate about this crap, and those damn bees come. But, um, but yeah, that one, that bush over there, it's supposed to free, um, um, flower fragrant roses. I think it needs to get hotter, though. But the thing I'm surprised at, I, I didn't think these things would come up like this, this early. Plus, I've seen them um, bloom as late as November, though, because of the crazy weather, crazy beautiful weather, like mid to late November, roses are still coming up. You know, it's like, the, but the thing I hate, though, is that they'll go away. They'll all bloom like monsters. I gotta keep an eye on this, and then gone for the rest of the damn summer, which is something I hate, but, um, but yeah, you can see them just crazy. They're all, they're not wild. I mean, yeah, they're not wild. Let me see, who is this? No, that's not wild either. But they snuck up on me because I can't see these from, yeah, they're beautiful smelling. I mean, just so delicate. I remember one time I was in London and um, I was walking around where Euston Road meets Strand Street because we used to, we stayed at a, at the uh, hotel there one year, and there was a kid called the Strand Palace. It was across the street from the Savoy. I didn't realize, I, I don't know, even as a kid, though, I knew there was something fancy schmancy about the Savoy. But, uh, you know, at the same time, you have the Strand Palace. It really couldn't hold a candle. <laughs> I, you know, I think it must have been like 13 or something. And um, it, um, you know, you could just tell the, the, the quality of the people had this, it was more grand, you know, it was just open and opulent and had like this, you know, like the entrance to it was like kind of dark and almost gothic, you know, and um, it was just the most beautiful thing. I was just thinking to myself, I didn't want to say anything to my parents or anything like, hey, why the hell, cheap, cheap bastards? Oh, don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. Um, 
you cheap bastards okay can't we stay up and Savoy but um who cares what I was thinking but um I was trying to be a good kid and not say that because I love them dearly for actually just taking me to England you know for free you know it's like I um I love them I swear to God, they were like the coolest people. They'd do anything I'd say, <laughs> anything I'd ask for, they'd give me. My brothers were kind of pissed off and, and jealous of me, because um, like, whenever I'd want something, I'd just cry. You know, even when I got older, which I'm ashamed of. Well, not really. It worked. What the hell, man? And um, you know, whatever worked. But um, okay, how the hell did I go from? Oh, I know. Right, so, um, but, but like years later, I went back, I was taking a class, a, like a study abroad summer class, and um, I happened to be walking around that area, um, and there's like this little cutoff, you know, so, so you could like take a shortcut when you're walking down Strand Street, oh, look at that damn little bee there, can I get that little bee? I was wondering where the little bastards were. Uh, it's a little one though, so it's not a killer bee. You see, there's a cat rolling around over there. I'd never had them grow up here though. That's the other thing I just was just thinking about. Usually, it would only be the um, the um, the uh, wild roses. They were, they were beautiful, but they were real. They were all dark like this stuff. Wait, is this a wild rose? It looks like no. This is, but it's very dark. But they're usually bigger than this. They usually come up big as hell, monstrously. You know, and um, yeah, but I was walking through, um, so I was walking down Strand Street back to Houston, and because uh, I was going towards Houston Station on Houston Road, and um, and I just, it was a Sunday, I remember everything was closed, but I remember walking by this shop, and uh, a group of shops, I don't know which when it was, whether it's like an apothecary or what the hell that damn place was. I love using that word because it makes me sound smart. That's so cool. But anyway, um, um, the smell though was so light and delicate. I, I, I was just, it just, wow, the sun is burning my damn skin. I swear to God. And um, see, I can't believe it. I feel like I'm going to get skin burn. The sun burns. The sun is really burning the hell out of my skin. But, um, but yeah, um, it was, it, it, I couldn't, it just blew my mind. It brought tears to my eyes. But I went back there, because I went back years later, and, um, like in 2008, and, um, I couldn't find it. The damn, the city had changed completely. It's like everything smelled like New York. Everything smelled like pee, you know? I was like, wow, this is depressing. I'm going to have to change cities. I'm going to have to start vacationing in Moscow or something, you know, and hopefully they, uh, they've maintained relevance to, you know, the Fabergé egg type of thing, you know, that's what I always think of when I think of, like, the Russians and stuff like that, <laughs> you know, and I want, I don't know, I don't understand, wow, this is crazy, I've never seen this many in my life, I wonder, maybe it's because they don't have quite the competition they had before with the wild roses, and I, because I took down a lot of the, um, the, uh, the, the, uh, the wild plants, because I had those bushes also, you can see them, they're kind of trying to still grow up, but I keep tearing them down, hoping these, you know, the real roses would come out and look beautiful and, uh, and thrive, but they're not as big though, maybe, I think it's probably because there's so many more of them, I've never seen this many, you know, you can see the buds, buds they are about to take off, they're just waiting to burst. This is going to look crazy. I mean, I've seen a lot of them burst, but not this many. It's like, it's crazy. I've, I wanted to try and grow these things indoors. Why, I don't know. Um, but we, but I'm, I'm wondering if it's all the rain, though, because we've definitely had more rain like the last several years. But especially, I think, this year and last year, but I think even more this year. We've just had, it's been raining like every day, practically. You know, it's like even days that it didn't rain, like last night it rained. It's like the perfect watering system because it rains at night, you know, and water can soak in. And then it, um, you know, it all goes, it, you know, it has time to soak in and drink it up. Then the sun comes out and it just blooms like crazy. But, um, but yeah, this is total God. I wish I can, I should have started out like this. I'm wondering if I hold it long enough. It'll, that'll be like the thumbnail, you know, 
and I'll get that beautiful flower there. But this thing is just totally, totally awesome looking. I can't wait till they bloom. But, they, but yeah, usually it doesn't bloom this early. That was, that's like the weirdest thing, though, how early it's coming up. Usually I don't see these this early. And, um, yeah. Okay. I think that's about it. Wow, it's 10 minutes. I don't think I had that much to say. So, yeah. So, make sure you subscribe, like, and um, comment. Positive. But I'll take anything. Okay. Bye.